Welcome to Pimpy's Investment Chat, where we keep investment talk simple. And here's your host, Pimpy. What is going on out there, peeps? All right. Not a whole lot going on, so this should be a short video, but we do want to cover the fact that the dollar is still continuing to slightly decline against the Iraqi dinar. Now, what was it that the guy said? Oh, yeah, that gap should be closed within two days. So let's keep an eye on this and see if, in fact, that gap between the official versus the parallel market rate, if that gap is closing at all. Before we get started, if you can hit the thumbs up button, and if you're not a subscriber, please do so, because when you do, it helps out the channel, and I certainly do appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying gold or silver or any other precious metals, check out our friends over there at Money Metals Exchange. The link is down below in the description. If you're a first-time buyer and you spend more than $200, you'll get an additional half ounce of silver if you just click the link down below. It's also a great way to help support the channel. Also, I can be found on other social media websites. I do have my own webpage called Pimpy's News Network. Over here, I have the opportunity to talk about subject matters that I cannot talk about on YouTube without getting a violation or being removed. So come check me out on Pimpy's News Network. I do have a YouTube channel called The Other Side of Things for people watching me on other social media networks and do not realize that I have a YouTube channel. So come check me out over here. On Facebook, I do have my own Facebook group called Pimpy's Investment Chat. Over here, we do talk about gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, as well as other foreign currency investments or any other investments that you guys want to talk about. Just let me know. Come join. It's free to do so. I can be found also on Twitter, MeWe, YouTube, Odyssey, and yes, I do finally have a Rumble. I'm not sure why my videos are not popping up on my channel. Just go right here. If you put in Pimpy's Investment Chat. So my videos are posting. I just don't see them on my channel yet. But I'm definitely on Rumble. All the links for all these social media platforms can be found down below. So come on over and join. It's for free. And if I should ever get kicked off YouTube, you'll know where else to find me. Somebody told me that when it comes to Rumble, they say, Pimpy, whenever you synchronize with your YouTube channel, you don't usually see the videos on your channel. It's only the ones you uploaded. I said, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. So to test that theory, I went ahead and uploaded an old video of me, Rice, and the Public Awakening, us responding to our trip over there to the Washington Capitol on January the 6th. And uh, I've forgotten about all the weird things that happened on that day, things that happened to a lot of people's phones, which should make a lot of people very concerned, I guess is the best way to put it. So after Halabasi's vacation calls to speed up the approval of the financial budget and Maliki coalition disrupting it is political malice. So it doesn't look like they even got it to the House of Representatives according to this particular article. I thought it was there. Desm Alliance called on Friday to expedite the sending of the budget law to the Finance Committee for the purpose of studying it and placing it on the agenda for Parliament. What I'm thinking is it has been sent to Parliament. I told you Parliament has to review it. They will send back recommendations and amendments that they want on there. So I'm thinking that's the stage that they're at. They have sent in the request for changes they want to see inside the budget. And as soon as those are done, and it's sent back again to be studied and voted on. It says the Alliance of Resolve calls on the first vice president of the House of Representatives and the duty speaker of Parliament to expedite the transformation of the general budget law from the presidency of Parliament to the Financial Committee for the purpose of studying it and placing it on the agenda of the council at the earliest session, the Alliance said in a statement today. He added that this law carries great and sensitive importance related to the strength of the Iraqi people and the economic, administrative, and social consequences of its adoption and implementation of the covenant made by the council and the deputies on themselves in serving the homeland and seeking to approve legislation and laws that are in the interest of the citizens. Now, when I first thought about what was in this budget and why it is that Maliki and his people want this sucker expedited, I was thinking there might be some nefarious or some sneaky things in this budget, but I don't think that's the case. I think what it is is they're trying really hard to look really impressive to the people because we're supposed to have early voting again coming up here. And Maliki and his people want to make sure that they can stay in power. But in order to do that, you really have to do some impressive things. 
That's why watching Al Sudini go through and doing what he's doing is very impressive. But it's hard not to feel like there's always some type of agenda behind it. So meanwhile, MPs for the state of coalition called on to the political blocs to assume national responsibility towards the people and their interests, which are included in the federal budget amongst the most important tasks entrusted to the work of the House of Representatives, the presidency, and members. The steps of the Sudanese government in providing a solid budget for the next three years is nothing but a corrective process for the government's work to provide the best, most effective, and most service to the government institutions and the interests of Iraq and Iraqis as delaying the approval of the budget is not in the interest of anyone, especially as we're living in a revolution of government reforms at all administrative, financial, and service levels. The politarian also appealed to everyone to stay away from political partisan interest, describing the process of disrupting the budget approval as a political malice that was caused by personal benefits or obstruction of the Sudanese, which has become clear to the public his procedures, step and wise decisions in presenting his national project before the secretariat entrusted to him. We know that Halabasi went on vacation, is done for 15 days, starts on April the 13th, while he's authorized his first deputy to manage the sessions of council. So we are at the end of March, and right now it doesn't even look like the budget will be approved by the end of April. If they're going for a three-year budget, by all means, boo-boo, get your things done so the Iraqi people can benefit. Central Bank set up four measures to support the Iraqi dinar power. So I went to go look at how the Iraqi exchange rate closed for the day. At 1,430 something dinars for every dollar, it is shrinking the gap between the official rate and the parallel rate. But that guy said that that gap was going to be very close within two days. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to pull that off, but I might be wrong. The Central Bank of Iraq Thursday identified four measures to support the strength of the Iraqi dinar while confirming that its packages met most market demands and contributed to the decline of the dollar and announced that the problem of the dollar contracts was addressed for some departments. The Central Bank has taken a set of packages to support the Iraqi dinar power process, promote external transfer, trade financing, study, and others. The Assistant Director General of the Investment Department at the bank Jonas said in an interview, Jonas added that the dollar began to decline against the dinar continuously as a result of these packages that met most of the Iraqi market's demands, noting that this contributed to the reducing the difference between the official and the parallel exchange rate. Iraq is an importer of everything, and therefore the size of its large demand for the dollar sometimes makes it stronger against the dinar. The central bank's actions are supported by the decisions of the prime minister and the cabinet. So this is what I'm talking about. Iraq, Iraq does have goods that it exports, but they have to get those going. Agriculture is a big one, but if they have a so-called climate change drought, the farmers are giving up and going to work elsewhere. So they need to get their agriculture going. Tourism is good for a lot of people. It just depends on what part of the world you're coming from. But there's still a lot of infrastructure that needs to be done. So because of this, they are having to import more than they are exporting. So it would seem to me that you'd want a dinar with more purchasing power, in my opinion, so that you can get more of the goods that you're bringing into Iraq. But I guess before we go ahead and increase the dinar a little bit more, we got to make it a little bit stronger. He stressed the need to combine all efforts to support the strength of the dinar through measures. Firstly, the support of local product. Secondary, to reduce import operations. Thirdly, to control the markets and fourth, to control border crossing. Noting that most of the markets have started dealing with the Iraqi dinar and this will contribute to supporting it. Yeah, it, it, it will. This is what I was speaking about before. Stop having two currencies in your country and just deal with the Iraqi dinar. This will help build confidence of the people in their currency and help them get away from wanting the U.S. dollars. He pointed out that some circles face a problem because their contracts are in dollars, but the Council of Ministers and the Central Bank began to solve these problems, stressing that Iraq has more than 130 tons of gold. Yeah, I would like to have some of that. So there you have it. These packages that are going to the bank are helping to strengthen the Iraqi dinar, and it appears to be working, so that's a good sign. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think. I look forward to your comments down below, and I'll get back at you later. I'm out.